Last night, of course, mm. we had the Australian of the Year. That is often controversial. Uh, last night, it was a body image campaigner. Taryn Brumford is her name. She's from South Australia. Uh, she was named Australian of the Year. Now, Mike Carlton, uh, say no more, but he was out there with a pretty cruel dig on Twitter not long after her, her announcement. Listen to what he said. Uh, he said, my Australian of the year would be a doctor or a nurse working nights in intensive care or ED, dealing with COVID and daily death. Real compassionate work for very little money. Not someone who makes a buck out of saying it's OK to be a bit fat. Good night. Sophie, take it away. Well, Peter, I must admit I'm loath to talk about Mike Carlton because he has this habit of inserting himself into the story and then he loves the attention that comes with it. But I think he's completely missed the point of the Australian of the Year here. Uh, she's really, uh, you know, focused on body image and hopefully a lot of Australians will learn that you don't have to have the perfect body. You can love who you are without being obsessed with exactly what you look like. I think social media has done immense damage in the uh, body image perceptions that we have in society. And I think uh, a lot of good will come out of this. I think it is a good issue to discuss. Uh, but I think his comments that were obviously put out there late at night were ill-advised. And I really don't think he knows what he's talking about here. And I think uh, she could do immense uh, good to this cause in the 12 months ahead as she is Australian of the Year. You're right to pick up being a social media and body image intertwined. I would, I would hate to grow up now with the uh, scrutiny of social media. I'm so glad. Gosh, I was uh, at university, I think, around your time, Sophie, before the internet was even invented. So I'm very happy with my era uh, to grow up and have all those issues uh, as a teenager.